Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Nate's Stuff. And uh, it's going to be kind of a short one, I think. We've got a couple Christmas cards here, belated Christmas cards. There, these cards were actually here before Christmas. Uh, and this package has a little story behind it. It comes all the way from a fan of ours in Australia. But uh, let's start with the cards. Now, I'm not going to like lie. I've, I've already looked at them, but I haven't read them. Um, I got impatient, okay? These have been sitting here for a couple weeks, all right? Uh, so the first one, um, oh, look at that, Seasons Greetings. It's one of those National Geographic cards of the polar bear. Uh, what does it say? Uh, Nate, oh, sorry, what does it say? Wishing you all of the Christmas merriment you can bear. And that's, of course, a B-E-A-R. Uh, it says, Nate, I love your content, and I really appreciate you making so many videos for us all to watch and enjoy. I just wanted to wish you and your family a Merry Christmas. I hope you all have a great holiday. And it comes from Kelly, a.k.a. Ariel Lazarus. Well, thank you so much, Kelly, uh, Ariel Lazarus. Recognize that username from our live streams. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate the, the sentiment here. Um, I mean, the fact that anyone even wants to send me letters or Christmas cards is astounding. In fact, uh, if you want to send me some letters, some cards, some packages and stuff, I don't know. Why you want to send me stuff but if you do i do have a p.o box it's down in the description it is p.o box 696 chippewa falls wisconsin uh you could just put nintendo prime as the person to send it to all right um next up this one was actually taped shut so i really did a number on this one this one's a little beat up too post office do better <laughs> uh a little snowman on the front it's one of those hallmark cars season's greetings it says oh a bit of a note Let's, uh, let's read the card for it. It says, wishing you a magical and memorable Christmas. Thank you for all the great content you create on YouTube. Here's to another great year for Nintendo fans. Your grateful patron, Nick. One of our patrons. Well, thanks so much, Nick. That's a very thoughtful card. Let's see. Uh... Oh, Nick. Front and back. I apologize. I got I to gotta read this off to you guys. Uh, it says, dear Nate. I just wanted to take the time this Christmas to show my appreciation for you and your channel. I have been watching your channel since last year during the height of the Switch craze and the first video I saw of yours was the one about what if the Wii U had released, um, uh, what if the Wii U had released in 2010 as the Wii HD. Ah oh, man, I remember that video. It's still one of my favorite videos I've done. Uh, I thought it was a great concept for a video, and I think the quality of that video has carried into all of the videos, podcasts, and content that you make. Well, thanks, man. Uh, you always articulate your points very clearly and defend your arguments very well. I don't know about that, but I'm glad, you, I'm glad I come off that way. Uh, it was a little hard to watch that debate you did with Player Essence because you were so right and he was so out of touch. I... He, he made his points. We, we were coming from two different sides of things, and um, he was right in much of, like, the argument he was making was correct, but it didn't address my argument at all. You know, it, that, and that happens in debates sometimes. Um, let's see here. It says, uh, I don't always agree with you. Who does? <laughs> I don't always agree with myself. Uh, but I was with you 100% on how Nintendo could become like EA, if they're not careful. EA itself used to be a great company that made quality games. They still make some quality games. Let's, let's, I mean, let's be real. The reason they're still so popular is because they make some quality games. Uh, and now look at them. Anyways, I hope your channel continues to grow and that Nintendo Prime becomes a household name among Nintendo fans. That would be, that would be, that would be pretty cool. Uh, I decided to become a patron of yours because you have a smaller channel. And I believe... You can, sorry, I'm trying to read this handwriting. Handwritten letters are like so touching, but also I have to read the handwriting. I believe you can one day, okay, become one of the biggest and trusted Nintendo channels. Also, I think it's great that you're as big of a Zelda fan as I am, if not bigger. Although I admit that I never visited Zelda Informer back in the day, you visited Zelda Universe. I used to actually be on the Zelda Universe podcast way back in the day. I was their news guy. Um, and I did a news segment on that podcast. It was, it was fun while it lasted. 
<laughs> Sorry, LOL. Anyway, I want to close by thanking you once again for maintaining a quality YouTube channel. I hope that you can continue to make it your livelihood so that you can continue to pour your heart and soul into making the channel reach ever greater heights. But just know that I don't appreciate you for how many subs and views you have. Um, I appreciate you for the quality of your content. You should be very proud of your channel, Nate. And I hope you know how much we as viewers appreciate the great work you do at Nintendo Prime. I wish a happy and healthy Christmas for you and your family and Eric too. Eric, I'll, I'll have to let him, let him know about this one. Uh, see you in the next video, Nate. Sincerely, Nick. Well, man, that, that, dude, this means a lot to me. This is, I'm, this letter's not going anywhere. In fact, neither one of these cards are. These are going to be, um, I don't know. Maybe they'll become background in, uh, Prime News videos eventually. The, the cards, at least. I won't put the letters up, but, uh, I, dude, I appreciate that so much. Thank you so much for being a patron, by the way. Um, Patreon is a big thing that helps us do what we do. We just crossed the $300 threshold on there, so now we do game reviews every month. Um, you know, next up's the $400 threshold. If you guys out there are watching and would like to support me like that, uh, patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime. I'm not going to advertise it much more than that. You can go check out the tiers and the, and the stretch goals and all that. Uh, but thank you so much, man. I'm, I'm glad that you feel that I make such high-quality content. I always say I am my own harshest critic, so I don't think my content's really that great. I don't know if I'll ever reach a point where I think my content's great. Uh, and sometimes it, it hurts when I do think I have an okay piece of content, then it only gets like 10 views. Uh, but, you know, every one of those 10 views, obviously enjoy it. So I'm, I'm really happy um, that you're enjoying my stuff and that you think so highly of me. Because um, I don't think that highly of me. So it, it, it's interesting. All right. This package here, oh boy. Does this package have a story? Uh, this package was sent by one of our fans from Australia uh, named James. I'm not going to say his last name, obviously. Uh, and $50 Australian to send this internationally. And it was sent twice. I don't know if he had to pay again. Uh, he sent it because my P.O. box um, had an issue when it arrived. So my local post office sent it back to Australia. So I really hope he didn't have to pay postage again because that's $100 in postage you would have paid. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, it's, so this is here like a month late. This is the reason those cards, uh, and stuff wasn't open sooner. This is supposed to be here before Christmas. I guess I can leave that on there just so I know uh, who it's from. And if I ever want to hit them back with something, um, it's got some stuff listed on here that I don't understand. Pamphlets, postcard. I, I don't, I don't get that. Amiibo video game, um, and a card, what X and some valuations. Apparently, this whole package is worth 125 bucks. So I already uh, ripped off the tape initially because I wanted to make sure nothing broke. So I opened it up. You never know with international packages. It doesn't appear like anything but broke. So let's dump this out. I don't even know what's happening. This package is um, like, what even is all this? There's like these Amiibo things and like this poke. Uh, Got to catch them all. Rules for the TCG? All right, let's... um. Yeah, there, there, there's some some letters here. So there's this two Nate. I'm going to wait on that. Uh, what's this? Okay, there's a letter. It's a safe to open spoilers. Okay, safe to open spoilers inside two Nate. All right. I'm guessing the amiibo must be Duck Hunt. And he sent me the uh, the, the art for it. Okay, let's, let's get to the letter. He wrote a letter. And I checked with him, by the way. Um, I've been conversing with him, and man, I'm so sorry about that issue with my P.O. Box, but it's done now. All right, let's, let's get into the letter. It says, just to Nate, just a quick explanation about what is here. With the game, Amazon screwed up and sent me two of it, so I'm giving you the second one. Awesome. Well, the game is uh, Shantai 1 and 2, or Shantai 1, one 1.5, Genie Hero. It's Ultimate Edition by Xseed. Uh, I've never played a Shantai game, so this should be... Uh, it, the Ultimate Day 1 Edition includes a 96-page art book, Risky Beats soundtrack CD, 30 music tracks, uh, has all the DLC extra, the Pirate, Pirate Screen Quest, Friends to the End, Officer Mode, Ninja Mode, Beach Mode, with exclusive new bathing suit. Of course, it's Shantae. Um, let me, let's just open this up. Why not? So he got two of these. And what's nice is uh, the Switch is region-free, so it doesn't matter. This will literally play right on my U.S. account, even though it came from Australia. It does actually have a... Uh, a U.S. Uh, ESRB, so it must be a uh, North American. 
um, copy, but I maybe imported it and then Amazon screwed up and sent them too. Whatever, that's, that's awesome. Well, thanks for sending me your extra copy. Uh, another Switch game to add to the collection. And uh, maybe I have to play it on stream sometime. Let's, let's, let's open her up. The box is a little squished. So I don't know. We'll see if I decide to keep the box or not. Um, so there's the Risky Beats uh, music CD. Um, I don't really have a CD. Well, I have, my car can play CDs. I, I should probably get like a, a CD burner and, and start burning some of these, these collection discs I get. Um, there's the art book. Really, really cool. Um, I mean, a bunch of art from, from Shantae. I don't know if you saw that very well. And there's the game, of course. Let's see if this has a manual. I've noticed some of the Switch games do actually have manuals, um, which is interesting in an age when manuals seem to be going away. Uh, but let's, let's just, mm, that new game smell. <laughs> there it is, Shantae, Shantae and uh, the half genie hero, I believe. Yep, has a manual. Look at that. Look at that. A game like this can have a manual Nintendo. It's in color, too. Okay. That's pretty cool. Well, awesome. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to stream this sometime for you, man. Thanks so much. That's, that's awesome. All right. Um, the two envelopes, one of them is clearly marked spoilers. So if you have not finished all eight Octopath Traveler stories, you might want to wait till then. <laughs> okay. So you know what that is? That's a challenge. That's a challenge. That's a, I can't open this till I beat Octopath Traveler. Okay. That's a live stream challenge. And oh boy, I have to not touch. Like, this is pretty, I don't know what this is, but. Um, man, okay. All right. Time to beat Octopath Traveler on stream. Another game I need to stream and beat. No, that's not gonna, I mean, I'll, maybe I'll stream it tonight even. I don't know. Uh, okay, so I can't open that one. Um, all right, the safe envelope are derived from official artwork and official wallpapers. Since Australia did not get the pre-order postcards, you made your own with Photoshop. What? He made his own? He made his own postcards? I didn't even know there were po postcards that came with. Well, I guess I'll see what these are, okay. Oh man. So these are like the characters. I'm, I'll get a close up shot for you guys of these. These are the characters from Octopath Traveler. Um, so there's eight of them. I'll, I'll, I'll get a close up shot. That's wow. I mean, obviously, I'm assuming he didn't draw all this. He, he just made the, he photo, he admitted he photoshopped up some postcards. But those are awesome. I'm gonna have to get these framed. Cause like these are custom, they're one of a kind postcards. For Octopath Traveler. Oh, man. Thank you so much, dude. Holy crap. Those are amazing. Um, what else we got here? Uh, it says... And the spoiler screenshot... Or, uh, the spoiler envelope are screenshots from the game. They will make sense when you have opened them up. Okay. We'll have to wait. We'll do that on a live stream. I'll, the, you know what that means? I have to beat Octopath Traveler on live stream. Okay, cool. So these will be saved um, for live stream. That's, that's crazy. Uh, let's see here. Most of the rest is a bunch of random Australian Nintendo advertising you have slowly collected. All right, let's go through some of this. Um, stuff that I know is... So he's got a Wii U slash Switch Amiibo... Breath of the Wild, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Oh, this like folds out. So this has like all the Zelda amiibo and like the various, like it looks like the best items you can get from them in the game or stuff like that. So that's do a close up of that as well. That's really cool. All right. What else we got? Uh, we have uh, an amiibo, power up your gameplay, a new way to play your favorite characters book. Okay, this is like one of those Amiibo advertising and like what they do in various games. This is a little bit older. It's got Wii U. Um, okay, so this is like a Wii U specific one. And then it's got, uh, you know, a bunch of Amiibo on the back. Some of the, the older Amiibo. That, that, that's really cool. It's like a little Amiibo guy. Um, Supercharger gameplay. This looks like another one uh, of those as well that uh, has Splatoon in it. It has... Amiibo Festival, <laughs> Mario Kart 8, 
Super Mario Maker, Mario Tennis, Ultra Smash. Ugh. At least Aces was better than that. Oh, and it's also got like a, a fold-out collection thing, collection page. It's really, Codename Steam, God, such an underrated game. Okay, awesome, I love Codename Steam. Another power up your gameplay, Tap Connect. So a bunch of Amiibo advertising pamphlets. These are really cool. These are really cool. I should probably find a way to dis display these or something. That's awesome. I'm trying to like look at my collection and see if like there's a way I can put it on the back. Uh, oh man, what is this? The Nintendo Game Plan. Is this the? Is this an insert from an NES? No way. The Nintendo Game Plan. It's got Metroid, Kid Icarus, The Legend of Zelda, The Adventure of Link, uh, Faxan Nadu, Super Mario Bros., Super Mario Bros. 2, Cobra Triangle, Kung Fu, Ice Climber, Balloon Fight, Urban Champion, Pinball to the Earth, Hogan's Alley, love Hogan's Alley, Duck Hunt, Wild Gummins, another good one, uh, Gumshoe, Tetris, Ice Hockey, Rad Racer, RC Pro-Am, Golf, Soccer, uh, Salam, Tennis, Volleyball, Baseball, Pro Wrestling, Excite Bike, Mock Rider, Donkey Kong Classics, which has the arcade series, Donkey Kong 3, Mario Brothers, the original arcade series, and Popeye. This looks like an insert from like an OG NES. Is this like a US one or is this a, did they call it the NES in, uh, or was it called, no, it had to be called the NES in Australia. Dude, that, okay, that needs to be framed. That is awesome. Wow, okay. Oh man, we got some game manuals, what? Um, the NES game sheet, though, is a copy of your original. Okay, okay, so this is a copy of the original. Well, yeah, don't give me the original. Because, okay, that's still, I, I, that's getting framed. Um, uh, it came inside the first ever NES game I owned. Zelda 2! The Adventure of Link, baby! That used to be my favorite Zelda game of all time until Breath of the Wild came out. Hell yeah! So that came... This giant thing came inside your first, what? How big was your copy of Zelda 2? Mine was only like this big. What was yours like? Holy crud. That's odd. Okay, well now that I know, especially that that's got a Zelda 2 memory attached to it, that's definitely getting framed. Uh, that poster is over 30 years old. Jeez. Yeah, it's like as old as me. I'm 32. Well, Zelda 2, it can't be 30 years. Zelda, Zelda 2 came out Gosh, okay, Zelda 1 was 86. I think Zelda 2 came out 88. I should know this. Um, anyways, thanks, dude. Right, let's go through the rest of this stuff. Um, and what's this? You never, you didn't even talk about what this is. I don't know what that is, okay. So we got a Super Smash Brothers for 3DS manual. Look how big this thing is. Is this a manual or an advertisement? My son has Super Smash Brothers for 3DS right now. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Uh, we have the Pokeball Plus and a controller. I have Eric's Pokeball Plus right now. Oh, and it's got like advertising for Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. Cool, cool. That's that's obviously modern and new. Uh, Starlink Battle for Atlas advertising. That makes me drool that I don't have all of those physical ships. Like that's wow. Uh, what else we got here? We got an, uh, just a Nintendo Switch manual. What's this say? Oh, now this is a memory that's going to matter years from now. Uh, this has a bunch of um, images that are ads for the Nintendo Switch that looks like at launch. Uh, cause, cause, you know, it's got like one, two switch and arms and Splatoon 2 in here uh, and stuff like that and explaining the Switch and what it does. Uh, this is like one of the, like, like those launch advertisements. Um, or it, heck, it might have even been included in his Switch box for all I know. This is, uh, this is something that like a decade from now, 20 years, 30 years from now, you know, when I'm, when I'm old and decrepit in my 60s, uh, that I'm looking back on this and, and having those fond memories of what it was like when Switch came out. That's a really cool, that's like, this is a, a, a long-term, that's a long-term payoff item. Um, same with something like this, you know, with a pre-order, a pre-order sheet um, from EB Games, it looks like. They had some cool trading values. Then again, uh, their prices on games are so expensive, like 90 bucks Australian for, for Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Cool, and this looks like another Switch advertisement. So again, another another like look back on this when I'm uh, when I'm old and decrepit and just reminisce about the glory days of Switch. Uh, what's this? This is a oh this oh it's got Star Fox Guard on here. This is an eShop digital guide. It looks like 
um, for Wii U and 3DS. I mean, you got Pokemon Sun and Moon, um, Yokai Watch in here, Monster Hunter Generations, Pokemon Tournament, Pikmin, Pikmin 3 Nintendo. Can we get Pikmin 4, please? <sighs> Anyways, take the trilogy, uh, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, Project Zero. Man, this already takes me back a little bit to, to the last generation of Nintendo. Shovel Knight, Plague of Shadows. Nice. Fast Racing Neo! And look, there's a Shantai game in there too. That's awesome. And then, he sent me a little a little insert or, or something about Nintendo Labo. Um, I have I have the Toy-Con Kit 1. I don't have the Robot Kit or the Vehicle Kit yet. I uh, might get them eventually. I, I want a complete, like I want a complete physical collection of Switch, which means I have to get all the Labos. But uh, I'm so far behind on a physical collection of Switch. Uh, there's a lot of them. And I don't have any of them. Although now, finally, I have uh, my first indie-style game. Is it really indie? I mean, XC Games is a little bit bigger deal, but yeah. Awesome. Rated T for teen, by the way. Could it be because she wears scantily clad clothes? I have no idea. That's awesome. Uh, no explanation for, um, for this. And this is awesome. I don't have mine anymore. Uh, this is the Pokemon Gotta Catch Them All, the rules for the original trading card game. And this is, this is nostalgic because uh, this is back when Wizards of the Coast was, was the makers of the card game. All those cards are, are illegal to use in current Pokemon today. This is the second volume of it. I don't know if I ever had the second volume. I mean, look at, look at that little chubby Pikachu. Look at that. It's so cute. Um, this is really... Oh, boy. There's the Charizard. Oh, man. Yeah, this already feels nostalgic. This is straight out of the 90s for me. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much, man, for sending me, like, parts of your collection. That's insane. Now, this, I don't know what this is. This feels like gift card-ish size, maybe? I don't, I don't know. Oh, it's okay, it's a card. It says, Merry Christmas to Nate. <laughs> so, it just says, Merry Christmas to Nate, best wishes from Jim or James. Goes by both. That's... Okay. He never mentioned the Amiibo. You get into that. So he sent me... Clearly he sent me the Duck Hunt Amiibo. Um, sent me the, the art. I mean, he's a collector. So, like, to some people this is garbage. But to, like, a collector, this is awesome. Uh, because it was sent to me, I'll keep it. I usually end up tossing mine out. But I will keep that... Um, as part of this. Now, I don't have Duck Hunt in my... I, my Amiibo collection is well short of being complete. I, I'm not... I'm nowhere close. I have a bunch of the Zelda Amiibo, but outside of that, I got, like, the like the Mario Odyssey Amiibo back here. Um, some... The OG Splatoon Amiibo. I don't have the new design ones. Um, let's see here. Oh, that looks... That looks cool. Okay. There's... There's Duck Hunt, dog. Or Duck Hunt... Whatever, whatever it's called inside the game. That is, that is awesome. That's going straight into the collection. That's going to appear in videos now. That's really cool. I am, I'm just taking it back. Like, it's funny. There's a Christmas card for Merry Christmas, says best wishes. But he sent me an entire letter outside of the card, so. Um, wow. I mean, I am, I am stunned right now. I don't know what I did to, to like for people to want to send me this, but wow. Well, thank you so much. Um, you know, Nick and Kelly and James, like you guys, this is, these are the, this is the best presents I have. I mean, I got an Xbox one extra crying out. This means more to me than that. Like, holy crap, guys. <laughs> I mean, dude, We did have a Merry Christmas, by the way. It's a pretty good holiday. The kids really had a good time. I was a little stressful for me, but I'm like, man, don't cry, Nate. All right. Well, thank you so much. Uh, this is uh, episode two of Nate's stuff. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm still just in shock and awe of all this. Like, dude, don't even know. I mean, I know what these are now. They're screenshots from the game, but uh, I can't look at them yet. Uh, I have to open that on stream, but dude, like custom. Oh, I just. Oh my gosh! Thank you guys so much. Um, 
I really appreciate this. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. If you uh, would like to send stuff for the next episode of Nate's stuff or just in general letters, um, heck, maybe you want to send me hate mail. I don't know. Uh, Nintendo Prime is, is the name to use and then do P.O. Box 696, Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, uh, United States, of course, with the zip code of 54729. Man, oh, man. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this edition of Nate's Stuff. And you know what? I'll catch you. I'll, I'll, I'll just catch you guys in the next one.